Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet, ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. It's Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation. That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Here Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs>
Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. And there's a good harvest in here. You may not talk to loads of This isn't anything like a friendly course, sir. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you see, sir. All up and done, well, boys. We're going home. Well, boys, we're going home. Captain's at the helm. Unfold, mate. Let's Captain, move. you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, I did. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men. Grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping. He gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him. And sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. I see them. As much as you can. Nothing in a hole. Screws down. Man your shoes. Wait for a day. Wait for a day. Wait for a day. Then we get on. Scouts all for days. They sprang. Ground on every inch of sail. Loose tops and rolls. Ease off the wing. Wait for a day. More sail. All sail. Let's ride this course. I think Atta, we've lost them, sir. Royal bloody navy! That's the low set, Captain! Ghost the gallants and royals! Pull! Pull all sail! Mains out! Let's go! Let's catch some wind, lads! Reef the 
This man's working for me, the Backfoots people. Do you know them? The Backfoots and their sugar empire. Aye. The Backfoots and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dead plant. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, the cane sugar cut and harvested. It's run between two metal rollers and cross the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in patches, made Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. More sail! More sail! Reef all top! It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here. to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We've got everything sorted. You saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. You must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. Oh, 
lad. Not worth yet. What in heaven's name? You come back here. I'll piss on it. Let's get back. That, you I'd like to speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Is there no one over here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! The key? That can't be legal. Raise the alarm! Don't lose sight of him! Bring it! You! Pierce! He's mine! A clear shot! Clear shot on him! Smooth your arm! Oh, there. Shit! Alarm! Alarm! Are you looking for trouble? No. You can't! You can't oh, escape! Help! Oh.
Poor hat and tribes who rebel against an enslavement is nothing too bloody. <laughs> Thank you. 
They find you, Captain.
Captain has the helm. Clues down! Catch some wind! Loose all and trim sharp to the wind! Our force patrol these waters closely, Captain! Bearing down on land, sir! Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these tablets claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow.
jackdaw handles knives. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil love a hurricane. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well... That's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I mostly agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. That ship's a monster. Look at the size of her. Aye. And we'd not last long face to face with her. Hear that, Kenway? Leave your distance. We'll strike. Blowing in! It's a break! Spaniard! Fatten yourself!
More trouble, Captain! Hit her from a safe range with our mortars! Good news for us. Bleeding bastards! We'll have to deal with this first fast. Forget the Guardian! Send these interlopers to hell! Brief the topsails and gallant!
sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. And maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Captain's trick. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, Stomp and shout I! Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Aye. 
Never was the King's Council so unified. ¿Por qué no miras tú?
Quédate donde estás. Quédate donde estás.
atrapando! ¡Rápido! ¡Que no se escabulla! This is the last time we will see land for a month.
that the cargo is secure! Muchachos, no voltais. No me das artaros. This is the last time you will see land for a month.
Tiro long, muchachos. Double time. This is the last time we will see land for a month. Last time we will see land for a month. The cargo is secure! This is the last time we will see land for a month.
Speed along, muchachos! Double time! The cargo is secure! This is the last time we will see land for a month. Remember the gift you gave me. Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Petra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still. You embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Ah. What's this? His petty larceny, the extent of your ambition. Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth, abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you! Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. Ah. <sighs> Move is ours! Hey! 
I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy, he won't bite. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Is something wrong? You're not nervous, are you? He's a very nice guy. Is something wrong? You're not nervous, are you? He's a very nice guy. Olivier said to go right in. Go 
on in. Something wrong? You're not nervous, are you? He's a very nice guy. Olivier said to go right in. Is something wrong? You're not nervous, are you? He's a very nice guy. Is something wrong? in. Olivier said to go right in. Something wrong? You're not nervous, are you? He's a very nice guy. Something wrong? Go on in. Something wrong? Olivier said to go right in.
You're not nervous, are you? He's a very nice guy. Something wrong? Go on in. Something wrong? Go on in. You're not nervous, are you? He's a very nice guy. Olivier said to go right in. Something wrong? Go on in. You're not nervous, are you? He's a very nice guy. Go on in. Olivier said to go right in. Is something wrong? On in. Olivier said to go right in. Go 
Go on in. Is something wrong? Olivier said to go right in. Go on in. Olivier said to go right in. Is something wrong? in. Olivier said to go right in. Well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? 
So the main reason I asked you here concerns something called the observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on thank you. I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alice, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Pourquoi? Bon, d'accord. Pas vraiment. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy, before I find a reason to hate you, too. A locked door. Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do, too. Don't abuse it. Log on, and I'll walk you through this. section in your communicator and you'll be redirected right away everything you download will be found in there uh protected by a firewall of course december 23rd 2012 sample recovery unit team lead fisher case reporting on subject 17 desmond miles the subject was deceased and unattended Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and, I'm told, proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See? 
that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend it never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. It's, uh, it's funny, I, I have this memory. I deliver that package myself, but I'm deep into some database coding. Are you some kind of diva? Go see the courier. Keep it to three hour sessions like the regulations. I'm not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye, yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Progress on that front. 
front, but there's always a danger. Assistance au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor, sample 17 project. Oi. Where are you going, the market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them, and I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Wake up, can we? What's that about? He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. Aye, we'll make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything.
hands off him. You must leave it. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound, deep into matter, until you see and hear a kind of shimmering. A shimmering? You understand? I think so. I've seen its like before. Glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Ah, oh, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like... man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only I thought... You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. Found something else just here. I think you'll take it. 